हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी ऑन एक्सेस ओपनिंग ऑल्सो नोन एज चेंबर ओपनिंग और गेनिंग एक्सेस टू द चेंबर आफ्टर आइसोलेशन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ द रूट केनाल प्रोसेस इन विच द टूथ इज ड्रिल्ड अप टू द चेंबर रूफ एंड एन एक्सेस इज क्रिएटेड टू द चेंबर एंड द केनाल्स ऑफ द रूट इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द पल्प क्लीन एंड शेप द केनाल्स एंड टू रेस्टोर द टूथ and today we'll be looking into how to do an access opening of the maxillary central and the maxillary lateral incisor to understand the access opening we first need to briefly go through the internal anatomy of the maxillary central and the lateral incisor maxillary central and lateral incisors most of the time have one root and one canal the occurrence of two canals in either of them is extremely low Although if we compare the two the lateral incisor may have a slightly higher chance of having two canals as compared with the central incisor even though that is also extremely low In young individuals the maxillary central and the lateral incisors have prominent pulp horns which makes the location of the roof of the chamber a little higher than the older teeth And because of these pulp horns the maxillary central and the lateral incisors have a triangular outline form for access preparation If you don't know what outline form is I recommend you watch my video on basics of access preparation in which I have discussed in detail about other basics as well So in young individuals the access outline form is triangular in shape As by the rules of endodontics when a single canal is present in a single root it will be centered in that single root Hence the single canal is present directly at the center of the root and is larger in diameter as compared to a tooth such as molars having multiple canals But the main problem is that the crowns of the incisor are not directly in line with the long axis of the root as evident in this picture. Hence if we draw a straight line from the crown and the root they will meet at an angle and they will not form a straight line. For this reason the establishment of the outline form an initial penetration into the enamel of either of the incisors is made with the burr perpendicular to the initial lingual surface of the tooth corresponding to the angle between the crown and the root. This outline form is made in the middle third of the lingual surface of the tooth. After penetration to the depth of about 2 to 3 mm, the burr is reorientated to coincide with the long axis orientation of the root. This method of having different orientation of the burr initially and then reorienting it later reduces the risk of a lateral perforation through the facial surface. Because if the orientation of the burr is not changed, then the dentist may drill through the facial surface of the tooth. and this is valid specially for the maxillary central incisor as its crown has more angulation as compared to the maxillary lateral incisor hence just to conclude this small story the chamber opening of incisor is done in two steps first is by drilling 2 to 3 mm at an angle perpendicular to the tooth and then the burr is reoriented to coincide with the long axis of the tooth that is straight The average depth of chamber for maxillary central incisor is about 5.5 mm while that for the maxillary lateral incisor averages around 5 mm. After reaching the chamber the single canal is then located. Once the canal is located a small file or path finding instrument such as 0.06, 0.08 or 0.1 stainless steel file is used to explore the canal. and determine the canal patency close to the apical foramen i will talk more about the later steps of root canal treatment in my later videos in detail so don't worry about that for now finally some important anomalies worth mentioning are the dense invaginatus and a prominent lingual groove dense invaginatus is a developmental defect and commonly found in the maxillary lateral incisor that results in pulpal necrosis Additionally a lingual groove may also be found in the maxillary lateral incisor as evident by a narrow probing defect These developmental defects the dense invaginatus and the lingual groove can complicate the treatment and can affect the prognosis of the treatment So I hope this video on access preparation of maxillary central and lateral incisor was helpful for you In my later videos I will be talking more about the other teeth and their access openings as well so make sure to subscribe to find out more And you can always visit my Patreon page and get more study materials there and consider becoming a Patreon on patreon.com/studywiththedentist As always take care of yourselves and your loved ones stay safe and goodbye